Hey guys, it's Ray from SoyaChinchow.com and welcome back to another episode of Each Me. So today's episode, we are going to take a look at the upcoming Oppo Find X5 Pro and we're also going to talk about the specifications and details about this smartphone. Samsung on the other hand will be providing 5 years of security updates for the Samsung Galaxy S22, the Samsung Galaxy S21 and also the Tab S8 series. All of this and more on today's episode, so stay tuned. Xiaomi is currently Malaysia's number one smartphone brand according to a report by Canalys. The Chinese smartphone brand which is popular for offering value for money options has recorded a 93% annual growth while commanding a 25% unit share in Malaysia in 2021. In a nutshell, one of the four smartphones sold in Malaysia is a Xiaomi device. Taking second place in Malaysia is Samsung with a 22% share and the Korean smartphone maker has recorded a 32% annual growth. This is followed by BBK electronic brands such as Vivo, Oppo and Realme that command 80%, 16% and also 8% share respectively. The latest stats are based on sell-in shipments which involve transactions between the manufacturer and the retailer rather than the consumer. According to the footnote, Oppo's figures do not include OnePlus. It is also worth pointing out that Xiaomi also has their independent sub-brands such as Redmi and Poco which are popular in the sub-1000 ringgit smartphone segment. These devices often dominate major online sales events with significant discounts given on e-commerce platforms. On a global level, Canalys reports 1.35 billion smartphones were shipped for the whole of 2021. Despite ongoing supply issues, the industry has shipped 7% more phones in 2021 compared to 2020. Globally, Samsung is still the number one smartphone vendor shipping 274.5 million units while commanding a 20% market share. This is followed by Apple at a second place with 230.1 million units and market share of 17%. Xiaomi holds the third spot with a total of 191.2 million units shipped with a market share of 14%. After committing to four years of security updates for the new Galaxy devices launched from 2019, Samsung appears to be upping its game by committing to five years of updates for its latest Galaxy flagship series including the Samsung Galaxy S22, Galaxy S21 and the Tab S8 series. On top of that, the devices are also able to receive four major Android OS upgrades. This was revealed in a leaked press release that was shared by serial leakster Evan Blass. At the footnote of the press release, it mentioned devices eligible for four generations of Android OS upgrades and five years of security updates currently include Galaxy S22 series, S21 series and also the Tab S8 series. This is good news for consumers as Samsung buyers will be able to enjoy greater peace of mind with longer software and security support. Since the Galaxy S22 is launching with Android 12 out of the box, this could mean that the latest flagship models could be upgraded to Android 16 with an additional year of security updates. As a comparison, Google's latest Pixel 6 only supports 3 years of Android updates and 5 years of security updates. The industry leader is still Apple as the latest iOS 15 still supports the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus from 2015. If you're looking for a huge TV for your living room, a new alternative has just arrived here in Malaysia. The Prism Plus Q86 Pro QE, which is an 86-inch television with Android TV from Singapore, is now available here in our local market. And the best part is that it comes with a special introductory price too. The Prism Plus Q86 Pro QE is priced at 8,999 ringgit normally, but from now until the 10th of February, it is priced slightly less at 8,899 ringgit as part of a special launch promotion. It is available on their official website and you also can find them on their official store on Lazada and also Shopee. Furthermore, from now until the 9th of February, there's a Chinese New Year sale too on Prism Plus website, meaning that you can get a further 88 ringgit off if you get the Prism Plus Q86 Pro QE and check out with Atomi as your payment method. This also gives you additional freebies worth up to 1,122 ringgit such as free 3 years of view, 3 months of Wii TV and 3 months of Mi Watch on top of a 2 year warranty and free delivery and assembly. Ah, another day, another smartphone leak. Serial Lickster Roland Kwan has obtained images and specification details of Oppo's upcoming flagship smartphone called the Oppo Find X5 Pro 5G. Currently, the Find X3 Pro 5G is Oppo's flagship smartphone and there is no Find X4 because 4 in Chinese numerology represents an unlucky number. So, based on the leaks, what do we know about this new upcoming smartphone? For starters, the upcoming smartphone is said to come in two colours which is ceramic white and ceramic black. Despite being called ceramic, the back is actually not made out of ceramic but instead it is made out of glass. 
However, the type of glass on the back wasn't mentioned. The Oppo Find X5 Pro shares the same design language as the Find X3 Pro like having an aluminium frame with rounded edges. The button's placement is similar as well with the volume buttons on the left and power button on the right. A speaker grill, USB Type-C port, a microphone hole, and the SIM tray is located at the bottom. One way it differs from its predecessor is the inclusion of eSIM support. The phone also gets IP68 dust and water resistance. Besides that, this device is also rumored to come with a 6.7-inch LTPO AMOLED display, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip, and also a 5000mAh battery. Other than that, the device also gets two 50MP Sony IMX766 cameras for main and ultra-wide and a 30MP telephoto camera. Unfortunately, there is no micro lens like the Oppo Find X3 Pro. This is also the first Oppo smartphone with Hasselblad branding and it is paired to a Mari Silicon Imaging MPU. So, how much would it cost you to purchase a device like this? Well, according to rumors, this device will be priced at 1,200 euros, which is about 5,750 ringgit. If you're interested, this device will be launched during the Mobile World Congress, which will be held on the 28th of February until the 3rd of March 2022. Alright, so that's it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you'll miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!